We got dessert. I like dessert. We got boozy dessert. Nah, I think I like booze and dessert, so oh. boozy dessert would probably yeah. be good. So these four little tubs here mm -hmm. contain boozy ice cream. So this is from the Tipsy Scoop. They have partnered with Blue Chair Bay Rum. Tipsy Scoop, I think, is out of New York. Mm -hmm. And according to the, the, the uh, tub, it's women-owned. And I believe, yeah, they are from New York. So they sent me these four things in a lovely box with dry ice and the whole bit that came FedEx. Wow. So I took them immediately out, threw them in the thing, threw them nice. in the fridge. Uh, so they partnered up with Blue Chair Bay Rum, and that rum is backed by Kenny Chesney. Kenny Chesney's Blue Chair Bay Rum and the boozy ice cream experts at Tipsy Scoop are teaming up on four new infused flavors. This four pack features ice cream flavors to make rum lovers rejoice. Dirty Banana Ice Cream is made with Blue Chair Bay Banana Rum Cream, Blue Chair Bay Banana Rum, and Chocolate Fudge Swirl. Mango Daiquiri Sorbet is created with fresh mangoes, Blue Chair Bay Mango Rum Cream, and White Rum. Pina Colada Ice Cream recreates the classic frozen cocktail with Blue Chair Bay Pineapple Rum Cream and Coconut Rum. Finally, Spiked Key Lime Pie Ice Cream takes the Blue Chair Bay Key Lime Rum Cream, Blue Chair Bay Coconut Rum, and Graham Cracker Crumble for a tangy twist. How about that? They sound delicious. They, I'm, they, I'm into they, it. They do sound pretty good. I'm into all of them. But anyway, so that's, that's the deal here. We got Tipsy Scoop Ice Cream paired up with Kenny Chesney's Blue Chair Rum, I'm oh, sorry, Blue Chair Bay Rum, and they made four very tasty tasting, tasty sounding ice creams. We'll be able to tell just how tasty tasting they are in just a minute. Yes, so well, you want to just step through each one? I'll stop and then we'll just do each yeah, one. Yeah, we'll do each one. And then we'll rank them. All right, senor. So round one is going to be the Dirty Banana. Dirty Banana. You're a Dirty Banana. Yes. So I figured I'd put them in the freezer because I don't want them to melt. That's so. probably a good idea. So we'll do one at a time. We'll give them a try. One at a time. Sir? Cheers. Clink. You cheers a dessert, right? Sure, why not? Seems okay. Sure, why not? That's not bad. That's quite nice. Smooth, creamy. I was expecting a little more banana flavor, actually. I mean, it's just subtle. Yeah, it's not like overpowering. I think the chocolate probably maybe mm. overpowers it a little bit, but that, no, it's good. I get a little bit of it, right? Is there no, a banana? No, but I was, it's a, I was just expecting it to be... Oh, like really... Like really banana. Like almost too much banana. No. No, that's nice. Blue ch okay, banana rum cream. Oh, okay, so I guess he does like a cream liqueur. Yeah. Like banana yeah, rum and then they put... Okay, it. yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. The smoothness going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. I enjoy that. It's not super sweet. Not at all. Not at all. And you don't get like that syrupy kind of... No. The cooling flavors. As you go a little further, you get more banana flavor. You know? It almost has like a... Like a banana Baileys. I didn't like mine. Not at all. Not, not doing not it for it. Didn't care for it. Didn't care what's, for it. What's next? Okay, we'll move on. So I like that. That was good. I think the chocolate banana is a good combination. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the banana cream, it's subtle. It doesn't taste overly alcohol. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have like that artificial banana kind right. of flavor to it. It's nice. I got you. All right, round two. We are fast. I didn't even I see know. a move. I know. Everything's changed. I'm like the Flash. It's crazy. I'm like crazy. the Flash. Crazy, So now we got the Pina Colada. Pina Colada. And again, just as a quick refresher, uh, with Blue Chair Bay Pineapple Rum Cream and Coconut Rum. Okay. All right. All right. Another cheers. Oh, thank you. If you can clink with plastic. It smells like pineapple. Again, I was kind of expecting to get like the overpowering Pina Col Colada kind of flavor. Yeah. And, and I'm not like, oh, getting no. it at all. It's very subtle. You know what I'm noticing? The ice cream is actually very good. Yeah, it the is. The ice cream itself yeah. is very good. It's nice. It's not like super airy. Mm. It's got a little lusciousness to it. Again, the whole fact that they shipped ice cream today yeah. is freaky. You get a lot more flavor with this yeah. than the banana. I think there's a lot more coconut with this. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's just the coconut's more of a flavor. Yeah, well, than, you get the, the coconut and you, and you get the little... It's yeah. a nice balance of the coconut and the pineapple. Mm. You know? Because the pineapple isn't really too much in your face. It's very subtle. Very, very subtle. I did not like that one either. Mm. What's next? All right, let's go. That was good. That was very good. All right, round three. Ready? Round three. Mango daiquiri. I like yeah, a daiquiri. Mango daiquiri. And what's so in this? Mango daiquiri sorbet is, is made with fresh mangoes, uh, blue cherry bay mango rum cream, 
and white rum. White rum, all Let's right. Let's do it. Cheers. Let's go. A little taste of the tropics. It's a little icier, much icier. I definitely get the mangoes. No uh -huh. doubt about that. Now, do you like mangoes? Not particularly. No, I love no. mangoes. I know this is a hugely popular flavor, mango. Yeah. Because it seems to be in a lot of things. Yeah. And our local water ice, mm -hmm. that's one of the single most popular flavors. Yeah, but that's bogus. That's so, like sugar. But and, people yeah. just love the mango. Yeah, they're fine. And they like For me, I'm, I'm not such a fan. I'm not? Mmm. I love mangoes. Love them. The problem is, it's tough to really get good ones. Yeah. They're really difficult to get good ones. Now, we've been getting these champagne mangoes, and they've been pretty good. They've been a little bit more consistent than the regular ones. But the regular ones, when they're good, are better than the champagne yeah. mangoes. So. For not liking it, I did finish it. Because, mm. you know, I'm a clean plater. And I went the next one. I got you, because you know what? You were raised properly. I, um, I think it, out of the first three, mm. I would make this third. I okay. like the flavors of the other two better. But that's also just because I'm not a big fan of mango. Mm. I really like that. That was really nice because you really get the fresh yeah, you get the fresh mango flavor. You, get, you can taste the fresh fruit. Yeah. That's good. That's really, really good. I like that. That had probably the most of the three that had the biggest fruit yeah. punch. You know, but the problem is you don't like that fruit. Yeah, that's so, it. that's an issue. Yeah. But in terms of flavor, this had the biggest flavor. The cross I bear. Yeah. yeah. And this one was just, you know, straight up yep. mango. Yep. So, okay, round four. All right, round four. Round four. Round four. You ready? Ding, ding. All right, so we got a spiked key lime pie. I love it. Do you like key lime pie? I am a fan of key lime pie, really but it's pie. probably not my favorite pie. I like key lime pie. Spiked key lime pie, ice cream cake. Ice cream, I'm sorry, ice cream. Takes blue chair bay key lime rum cream, blue chair bay coconut rum, and graham cracker crumble for a tangy twist. There you I go. love key lime pie. Love it. Sir? Cheers, Cheers again. Now that was a that was a Key West thing. Hence the Key West Key Lumps. That's one. Key Lumps, is that you? Mm-hmm. Mm. Get the graham cracker? Let's get a lot of graham cracker. Get a lot, lot of the cream? Don't get a lot of don't get a lot of key lime. Like I think I'm getting enough of the lime mm, let me see. Hang on. I, I think maybe it's coming in the back end, but it's not like up front. I like the graham cracker bit. I like the cream bit. But I'm missing the lime, and I want more lime. You want more lime? I want more lime. You want your MTV? So, while it's good, it's not key lime. Not to you. Not to me. Do you get any lime? I got some lime, but it does, it's not like a key lime. It's but you know, like key lime pie it's is more like a part. Yeah. It's more like a lime. So, before we go into our, our, our readings, let me go and uh, read a couple of the frequently asked questions. You know, do they ship to the U.S.? In all 50 states. Yeah. Yes. Yes, they do. Okay. Does the ice cream actually have an alcohol content? All of our flavors are up to 5% ABV and should only be consumed by those 21 and over. If it has alcohol, this was one of your questions, how does it freeze? Mm -hmm. All our flavors, because they're up to 5% alcohol, it's enough to get you tipsy, but low enough that they still freeze. Hmm. It's not like you put a 40% ABV vodka right, in the right, freezer. Yeah, you could, but it work. And the last question, which I'm reading just because I think it's fun, how much ice cream do I need to eat to get drunk? Uh-huh. All our flavors are up to 5% ABV and do actually hold an alcohol content. As with consumption of any alcoholic beverage, your inebriation depends on body size, tolerance to alcohol, and what else you've eaten during the day. Oh, that's funny. The recommended serving size of 4 ounces is unlikely to make a moderate drinker more than pleasantly tipsy. I guess if you got you know, pints... Mm -hmm. By the truckload, or maybe a couple half gallons of this, I'm like going to bender. So another, I was going to say, so I, there's no bender with I tipsy. Do not suggest that. All right. Well, hang on one second. Let me get them all out, and we yep. can rank them. Okay, we're back. We are so, back. are you ready for the final tally? Final tally. Final overall, scores. overall, what was your feeling of this product? Overall, I really like the flavor and texture of the ice cream. Yes, I think it's really good ice cream. I would agree. Um, some of the flavors, I think, were a little bolder than others. Mm -hmm. I didn't really get any of the alcohol, but at five percent, yeah, you really don't. Right. Um, I thought the flavors were good. I thought some of them could have been a little bigger. Mm -hmm. But I like them. I like mm -hmm. it all. So rank them. If I had to go and rank them, I would probably go with this being my favorite. I liked the texture addition of having the graham cracker in uh -huh. there. And it wasn't so much lime that it was kind of puckering, but it was a little bit of lime in the flavor. Mm. I liked that one a lot. I'd probably go to the chocolate banana as the next one. I thought that was the next best flavor. 
okay. for me. Um, I'm a little hesitant to get banana stuff. It always tastes a little artificial, but yeah. it tastes like it has real bananas in it. Right. And then I'd probably go with the pina colada. And then this one, again, one has to be fourth. It's not last. Yeah. I just am not a fan of mango. Okay. Just not. It's a big, bold flavor. I'm sure if you like yeah, mango, yeah, yeah. this would be your number one. But I, I just don't like mango. Okay. Well, I like mango. Right. So, for me, this is my number one yeah. because this tasted the most like yeah. the fruit. Sure, sure. So, sure. this was number one. I go with this one next, I think, mm -hmm. because I kind of like the chocolatey bit. Yeah, that, that was that was kind of interesting. Um, pina colada would be third. It was, you know, it wasn't big and bold. It wasn't like over the top. It was mm -hmm. subtle. It was yeah. subtle bits of pineapple, subtle bit of coconut. Um, but I like the texture of all of them. Mm -hmm. The texture was really good on all these. And this was good, but it wasn't key lime. That that's my complaint. I like the I like the ice cream. I like the graham cracker and the creamy flavor. But the lime was just way too subtle, right. and I like my key lime pie to be a little puckery. You so know? That's why we have them in the same order with the one and four flipped. Hmm. So there you go. go. So yeah, so it was uh, one, two, three, four. Yep. And I, I, I'd say it's, I don't know what, I have no idea how much this costs. Do we have any idea what this costs? Uh, if you go out to their website, for $49, you can get four pints. Okay. And any four pints you want, they have a rotating schedule based on what they're making. Four are forty-nine dollars. Six are seventy-five dollars. If you ordered eighteen, it's two hundred and sixteen dollars. Okay, that's with shipping and everything. Shipping, I assume that's with shipping and everything. Right, right, right. I don't know. So no, it's good. I mean, it's a so nice, it's, it's a nice treat. And it, it's again, if you're giving someone a gift, right, it's an interesting gift. Right. You now you want to go and you give housewarming. It's the run of the mill. Here's a bottle. Here's something. Mm -hmm. This might be something kind of neat. Right. You know, going to a party, they have party packs to go with other things to go with it. Um, something out of the ordinary. And the shipping, like I said, it, they ship to the whole U.S. So it's a nationwide shipping you can get in. Okay. Yeah, they did a great job with the shipping. Yeah. I mean, it came in, it wasn't soft by any stretch. So, and again, it was FedExed and it was all in, you know, the, that that bubble wrap with the, with the insulation, yep. the thermal yep. bubble wrap, wherever that is, and then dry ice. So it was packaged really well. So it held up. So, yeah, I like them. They're pretty good. Yeah. I'd be actually now I'd be curious to try the rum on their own just to see how they yeah. are. You know, and I don't know, Kenny Chesney from I don't know, what's another country singer? You know he's a country singer. I know, that's what yeah, I'm saying. But you know he's a country singer. That's I know good. that, that's all I know. That's good. That's good. That's it. Kenny that's Chesney, Kenny Rogers, could be the same guy. Yeah, no, Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Kenny Rogers is a different animal. I'm talking about the new guys. I'm talking about the new country. Right? So who else is there? Who's a who's the Red Solo Cup guy? Red Solo Cup? Yeah, what's his name? Does that fill you up? Sometimes. Are you having a party? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all right, we'll stop there. So thanks to Tipsy Scoop for sending yeah, us along. Yes, thank you very much for sending us along. These they're really well crafted. They're really, really yeah. good. Again, I didn't like all the flavors. I mean, I like them all. Yeah. But some better than others. Yeah. This one. This was. This was my clear. Yeah. Just because it was just so big sure. fruit. Sure. So, all right, folks. Cheers. Cheers.